We had a killer bee come in when we brought the trash bag, so I tried to kill it, and then my girlfriend told me to just to open the door to get rid of it, and that was the fastest way. You looked at me and you go, I hate you. Because <laughs> I was right. At least the bee survived. <laughs> All right, so we start out the video putting together a rep uh, rack for the dumbbells. Uh, it was pretty easy to put together, just a couple bolts. Um, we used the impact to tighten it all down. Just be careful though, because you could tighten it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum effort. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all the weights came in this giant sweet crate that is impossible to get rid of. <laughs> Unless you it takes have... like four weeks of trash. <laughs> yeah. Here's a nice slow move of the um, dumbbell. Little five pounders that you're excited about. Yeah, those ones are cute. <laughs> The amount of trash that we got from the dumbbell boxes are crazy. Each one was like individually wrapped. I think the, only the smaller weights came in two, like up to 25, I think. Yeah, and then they started putting just one weight per box, which it was still kind of hard to get out of the crate. Um, I'm glad they had the, the banding on it, so you could pull a whole box out by the band, but it was a lot of boxes. It took a couple hours, I'm pretty sure, to unwrap every single one, wipe no. them down. I move this fast all the time. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much done. Bacon it's because we drank that surge. <laughs> yeah. All the surge. This is what happens when you drink surge. Come 3,000 times faster than real life. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the dumbbells, uh, the diameters are different from 5 to 15. It's smaller, and then from 20 to 75, they have a little bit thicker of a diameter. Um, the knurling on them is pretty aggressive, and it's the cool part about rep is they have the knurling all the way through the actual handle, unlike other companies that only have partial knurling. So that was the main reason that we went with uh, the rep fitness weights. Yeah, we had to wipe them all down because they were all, they had oil on them so they don't rust and uh, it's impossible to get it off. We cleaned each one of them. It has a weird smell too. It does smell weird. Your hands smell like dog food. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know from past experience. But I think it was good we cleaned them off. Plus now we know like. Yeah, we're still cleaning them off. Uh, they're getting better each time. We've had them for about uh, two or three months now. Everyone's always excited about the 75s. <laughs> yeah, we got up to the 75s. I feel like I do prefer the, the thicker grip of the larger weights. It would have been ones. nice on the smaller weights for sure. Mm -hmm. um, they are a little discolored too. Like None of the colors really match. Some of them look brand new and some of them look a little like older, but hey, I think over time they're just gonna all look the same, so. Yeah, and they all still seem like really good quality though. Definitely. The racks are really nice too. Um, we ended up switching them up and putting the heavier rack uh, weights on one rack and the lighter ones on the other rack. And there's enough room to put other ob objects on there too, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that the one rack fits the 5 to 50. So if we were, if we decided to go with a smaller range, the 5 to 50, you know, would fit all on the same rack. Yeah. And that's our overview of our dumbbells that we got, or 5 to 75 from Rep Fitness. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Hit the like button. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see if it sounds weird. <laughs>